Oh my chawfulness. That is, this is my favorite chaffle, hands down, that I have made so far. So we're going to start with one egg, except we're going to separate the yolk from the egg white. So very carefully here. There we go. That worked nicely. Normally, it doesn't go so smooth. <laughs> I love, this is my little vintage egg separator. I've had this, it got passed down from some grandparent. I don't remember which one. Um, but anyway, we got our egg white and our yolk is separated. We're going to keep our yolk in a separate bowl. We'll be using that later. And to our egg white, we are going to add, I am using super fine almond flour. This stuff is um, from blanched whole almonds. So you can see it doesn't have the brown, you know, flakes in it. It's really, really nice for, especially for baking crusts. So we're going to make our crust. I'm going to add two tablespoons of this almond flour, finely, what's it called, super fine almond flour from blanched whole almonds. And if, if I remember correctly, blanched just means that it's had the shells, the skin, the brown skin removed. Correct me if I'm wrong down there. All right, and then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of classic monk fruit sweetener. I'm gonna add about an eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, a pinch of salt, and let's go ahead and stir this up. And I'm going to put in one more tablespoon of, of our super fine almond flour, and that'll bring it to a total of three tablespoons. Go ahead and stir that in. Go ahead and pour on your scoop of batter. And this is pretty thick, so you'll want to, oh no, oh, saved that one. So you'll want to spread it out as good as you can. It's very, very thick, so it's, it can be a little tough to spread out. Like I can never have enough of these things. I'm going to put just a little bit more, get it along the edges. That should be good enough and we're going to go ahead and close that and let that cook we're going to get a really nice white colored crust here and look how pretty that comes out so there's our first one we'll go ahead and get our it should make about two as what i'm going for here it's just a tight squeeze in here because our mixture is so thick. This tastes so delicious, you guys. It tastes like a sugar cookie. Straight up a sugar cookie or a very sweet crust. It is going to be amazing. I'm like wanting just to eat this whole thing right here. Look at the, the bread-like consistency of that. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Okay, so in a saucepan, I'm putting a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. And we're going to heat that up in just a minute. I'm going to add to our egg yolk one tablespoon of our classic monk fruit sweetener. 
And then we're just going to mix this together. Okay, we'll just let that set aside for a minute. And then we're going to go bring our heavy cream to a just a, a slight simmer. We're going to add in our egg yolk mixture to this once it starts simmering. And then we're going to make our coconut cream. So I'm going to go ahead and get that simmering. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my hot cream here. Now what you want to do this, you have to be very careful on this step while drizzling just a teeny bit of this into your, your mush, mixture, whisk it very quickly. Now we can go ahead and add this mixture to our cream. And stir that all together. The reason we do it that way is so we don't curdle and cook our egg yolk. That, that's called tempering it, so that's the technical baking name or cooking name for that. We're going to cook this another about two minutes, um, and you want to whisk it continuously until it starts to get nice and thick. All right, so as you can see, it's nice and thick like a pudding. And that's basically what we've made is a pudding or a custard. So now all we have left to do is stir in our coconut extract and our shredded coconut. So I am going to put in half a teaspoon of coconut extract. half a teaspoon of butter, so, so good, I can't even handle it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stir in a quarter of a cup of coconut. This is unsweetened coconut. Stir that all in. And that is it. It is done. It is absolutely tastes so amazing. You guys are going to be pretty happy. I'm pretty sure of it. So let's make our chaffle. A chaffle this delicious deserves a pretty vintage plate. So we're going to take our two chaffles. They've cooled off. Um, I, I nibbled on that edge because it was so good. And now we're going to take our amazing yummy topping and we're going to serve that right on top. And there you have it, coconut cream pie chaffle. I don't think it gets any better than this. Oh my goodness. Put a little dollop of whipped cream on the top if you'd like. Some sugar-free whipped cream. There you go. That looks amazing. <laughs> so this is going to be my my lunch today, I suppose. There you have it. Coconut cream pie chaffle. View this was this was a request from one of my subscribers and I couldn't let you down and so here you go. 
let's take some pictures and then let's taste. Coconut cream pie chaffle. Let's give it a taste test. There's our crust, which is our chaffle. And there it is. Oh my chaffleness. That is, this is my favorite chaffle, hands down, that I have made so far. This is phenomenal, you guys. Wow. I am so excited about this one. Please give it a try. You will not be disappointed. And for those of you that say I could never make a keto dessert like this because I would eat the whole thing, yes, you can eat the whole thing. And there's no more left to tempt you. And you can stay keto strong. Oh my gosh, it is the best. Mm. And the chaffle part of it, which is our crust, tastes exactly like a crust. It is so, so delicious. I really need you guys to try this one out so you can tell me that I'm not just imagining things because this tastes amazing. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you really enjoyed this video and leave me a big thumbs up if you would. It would really help my channel grow and leave me a comment below and let me know that you've watched it. A heart would be great or just say hi or say loved your video. Anything. I really appreciate the comments. It also helps my channel grow and thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome keto week.